What's going on Pokemon trainers? This is Mark here bringing you another Pokemon Crystal playthrough video. Last we left off, we had just taken on Team Rocket, defeated all them, and cleared out Slowpoke Well, where we uh, redeemed the Slowpoke were missing all their tails down there, and we are still in Azalea. So we need to go ahead and take on the gym leader here, Bugsy, and yes, his name does allude to the type of Pokemon that he uses in battle, and they are of course Bug-type, a uh, Kakuna, a uh, Metapod, and a Scyther to be exact. So we're going to go ahead and hop in here, and we're going to take care of him really quickly. A couple of things though before we do this. I do want to point out once again that if you do have a Totodile and you've evolved him into a Croconaut, just remember that water types will have a potentially slight disadvantage against bug type because bug type have kind of that uh, multi uh, move combination between not only bug but also grass type which can do some severe damage. So if you do have a water type, hopefully you have caught in yourself a, uh, a Growlithe and uh, or raised a uh, Totodile up to Croc and not to a high enough level. So both I, uh, my Pokemon level 25 has spent a great deal of time grinding between the previous video and here. And also with that being said, uh, I got a phone call from Hiker Anthony, that guy that we talked about as soon as we uh, exited Union Cave and came made our way to Azalea here. And he told me that Nunsmarts are swarming down in Dark Cave. So uh, presumably by this time you should have already gotten a phone call from Anthony. And uh, if you have not, then well, maybe he will do so very, very soon. Just be aware that you're going to have to make your way all the way back towards kind of the beginning area of the map uh, in between uh, New Bark Town and, and uh, that other town, whatever, Cherry Grove. And then you can go ahead and visit uh, Dark Cave and you can catch yourself a Dunspar since that is the only place that you could obtain one. But anyway, so right now as we are inside the gym, two other things I want to point out. One, every trainer in here is going to have a, a Pokemon range of level of between maybe 7 or 13. And Bugsy's Pokemon are two level 14 Pokemon, like I said, Metapod and Kakuna, and then his ace in the hole is his Scyther at level 16. So you want to make sure that your Pokemon are in the high teens. Hopefully you've got a Fire type. If you didn't pick Cyndaquil in the beginning, you got yourself a Growlithe. Um, and then also be advised that the moment that you're done here in uh, the gym and you're getting ready to uh, to leave Azalea City, um, you're and you're going to end up fighting a rival again too. So be also prepared to have some potions with you if you're not a high enough level to take on all the trainers here if you forget to visit the Pokemon Center because the moment that you try to leave, you have to face your rival. So anyway, let's go ahead and focus on the task at hand. We're going to go ahead and lock in with this trainer here. There's another trainer up in the top left we're going to go ahead and run into and then we should uh, meet Bugsy right after that. So first things first, let's go ahead and challenge these girls here. All right, Spinarak. Uh, I've got plenty of uh, power points with Growlithe. We can use Ember a variety of times to go ahead and finish off every one of these Pokemon with a single hit. By the time we get to Bugsy, though, we'll be able to take down his Kakuna and his Metapod with a single hit of Ember as well. That weakness that bug types do have to fire. But his Scyther is strong enough that he'll probably be able to withstand uh, an Ember attack or two. Also, you should know that Scyther is exceptionally fast, so chances are that Bugsy's going to end up having uh, the ability to move first on you. I highly doubt you're going to have a Pokemon that'll be faster than his Scyther, even if you have the uh, level advantage like we do. So keep that in mind. If he does kind of get the jump on you, he'll be able to pull off a quick attack, maybe a Fury Cut or something like that, and those attacks could do quite a bit of damage if you're not level prepared. Cool, so we took down Amy and May, no big deal. Uh, you'll end up going and taking on the uh, at least two trainers before you get to Bugsy, so we have to lock eyes with this one. And then we can go up and around. That trainer that you see in the top right there from, uh, I guess, my little trainer here that you see, uh, he does rotate around too, so you can avoid that battle if you kind of just walk in the right direction, but be prepared that he could flip on you uh, and face your direction, so just kind of watch him carefully if you don't need the experience and you want to avoid that trainer battle. Aside from Bugsy, this is the most powerful trainer in the entire room. His level 13 Paris isn't going to be strong enough to withstand a level 25 Ember attack from Growlithe, but if you do take the left side, you're going to end up running into this level 13 Paris here. The other side is uh, going to be level 12 Pokemon Caterpie and Weedle or something like that. I don't remember, but they're not as strong. Uh, there's two trainers in here that we're not going to fight. One of them has a Caterpie and Weedle, and the other one has a uh, Weedle, Kakuna, and Beedrill. But we're going to go ahead and avoid that. See, that guy's rotating. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go down. Ah, ah, damn it, it was this close. Ah, I tried. I thought for sure I was going to be able to get through, but all right, what do you have on me here? All right, this guy, oh, okay, so he's got the three. So he has Weedle, Kakuna, and Beedrill, and they're going to be level 7, 9, and 12. So level 7 Weedle here first, and then, uh, okay, whatever. Again, not too big of a deal. 
I don't need the experience. Rally is well off for now. We're uh, way ahead of the game. Uh, grinding in between videos has really helped me out. It is an exhausting process, though, because it's just so... I don't know, tedious to do, but gotta do it. I want to make sure that my videos are as straight to the point uh, as possible and uh, power through them as quickly as I can so we can get on to the next area. This will be the eighth video that we have in our Crystal playthrough, and we're only on the second gym leader. So I want to make sure as well that all things considered, that I beat one gym leader uh, every four videos at least in order so we can get through. But the this playthrough of Crystal is going to be a lot further along than Red, just because once we're done, uh, the biggest challenge in the game is going to be uh, getting through the gym leaders of Kanto, because we're going to go visit them after Johto, and then after that is uh, facing Red himself. And he is not a piece of cake. He is no walk in the park, I'll tell you that right now. He is by far the most powerful and difficult trainer uh, out of any game I think I've ever faced. Now, you can spend a lot of time grinding, uh, which I will do before I get there, but obviously the higher level that you get, the longer it will take for you to level up and go up against his, like, I don't know, level 70 or 80 Snorlax and Pikachu, and he has Charizard, uh, Venusaur, Blastoise. I mean, he's stacked. Like, you just, you're not going to stand a chance against him at all. I think he's got a Lapras in there or something like that. I don't remember what his other one was, but his sixth is. All right, cool. But anyway, so we'll take on Bugsy. Beat him into the ground, and then we will challenge our rival right after that. Again, it's, I think, I think Totodile is probably the most worthwhile Pokemon to have in the beginning. Uh, I know you, if in Crystal, there's no electric types that you can get to challenge Faulkner in the beginning first, so there's no real advantage with the birds, but, uh, from here on out, having a water and a fire type is, ex is exceptional, and you're not going to catch another water type, uh, that's really all that viable, unless you get the old rod, and then you get yourself, uh, a Magikarp, and then raise him to a Gyarados. So, at this point, it's nice to be able to have a Totodile to Croconaw, and then we're pretty close to getting for Alligator, which we'll get at level 30, and then Growlithe, and as soon as we can get ourselves a Firestone, then we'll be able to evolve into Arcanine. I'll have to review Growlithe's moveset, though, because he learns all the best moves. If we evolve Growlithe too soon, we're going to miss out on a lot of good moves, since Arcanine doesn't really learn anything. Oh shit, we don't, we don't need to switch. I'm also curious to see what that egg hatches out to be. Well, that's surprising it hasn't hatched yet. Alright. Yeah, see, he goes first because he's faster than me, so he pulls out a Fury Cutter. Okay, not a lot of damage because of our uh, level advantage. Amber will fry him. He's probably going to survive, but probably bring him down in the yellow. Yeah, and then he'll uh, do Quick Attack or... Yeah, so Quick Attack. That's pretty substantial damage for us being nine levels ahead. And then that finishes him off there, too. So, cool. So, we just beat Bugsy. Cool, there we go. A little bit of a boosted point list, right? Okay. Oh, that's right. He says one more Pokemon is Kakuna. All right. I thought we beat him already. My bad. All right. So we go ahead and take him down with one hit. And we got ourselves the Hive Badge. Sweet. So we're uh, two badges in. That's one-fourth of the way from the Johto League. But then we have to take on the uh, eight trainers of Kanto as well. Revisit those old gyms. No big deal. No big deal. We got this. Whoa, amazing! You're an expert on Pokemon! No, I'm just stronger than you, bro. My research isn't uh, complete yet. Take this, you have the badge. Alright, cool. Let's go and update our badge in real time. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the uh, Hive badge right here. Let's go ahead and do that. That should populate right there. Boom! Perfect. Alright, got it. Now we got ourselves the Hive badge. Pretty sweet. Uh, da -da 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 -da. You know, the benefit of Hive Badge, if you have it, Pokemon of level 30 will obey you, even traded ones. Actually, that is something that I need to think about, too. Um, I need to get my Pokemon line up here. I need to trade in some eggs, so that way I can start the process of building up my ultimate team. I can get a Scyther quickly that way. Ooh, Fury Cutter's good. I can get Scyther that way, then I can evolve him as soon as I can get my hands on a Metal Coat. Uh, and then once I do that, I can get Scyzor, my favorite Pokemon, there. And then uh, maybe see if I can trade in a Houndour, build him up. Uh, get a uh, Houndoom, and then Larvitar, Pupitar, Tyranitar, etc. Anyway, that's just my lineup. All right, so we're going to probably go... Which direction do we go? Let's see, because our rival's going to fight us soon. All right, so the March there. Nothing really all that I need. I'm not going to visit the Pokemon Center. I'm not too worried. Uh, let's see, we don't need to go to the house. Is it up above that, or is it just trees? Yeah, it's the trees. Okay. Yep, there we go. 
All right, so Silver's gonna challenge us again. We're gonna go ahead and whoop him. Let's see what his Pokemon lineup is gonna consist of. Obviously, his Chikorita still, I don't think his Chikorita will be evolved, but his Pokemon are in the mid to high teens, I think. What do we got here, Silver? Ghastly. Now, you can catch Ghastly in one of the earlier routes that I talked about uh, at night, and you can also catch Ghastly, 85% chance of running into a Ghastly uh, at night in Bellsprout, or Sprout Tower, I should say. But, yeah, no match for Growlithe. Oh, come on, I thought for sure that'd be enough to get to the next level. Zubat. Ugh, scrub. One hit KO on the bats. Oh, really? He survived? Surprised. Don't flinch, don't flinch. Okay, there we go. Bite you back, you punk. There you go. Ended. All right, and then Chikorita, and then one single hit with Ember should finish him off, and Chikorita will be down. Yeah, take that's a really good move. We definitely want to pick that up, and we'll replace that with Leer, because we're not going to need that. Yes. Uh, yeah, we don't need that. For the, limita the limitations in how many fire types move, fire type moves that Growlithe can pick up, I gotta say that uh, Takedown is a good substitute as a normal type attack. Oh crap, he has Bayleaf level 16. Okay. Might not be able to beat him in one hit. Nah, what am I talking about? 10 levels up? Yeah, that should be enough. Is his defense super high? Oh, he survived! Okay. Yeah, I didn't think so. Yeah, one more Ember. Done. Not too bad. Now, chances are you're probably not going to be in the 20s. You might be maybe around 19 or 20 if you get uh, if you grind like crazy. But depending on how devoted you are, obviously the more time you put in, the higher level your Pokemon's going to be, give you advantage in battle, etc. Okay, hate the weak Pokemon trainers. It doesn't matter who or what. I'm going to be strong and wipe out the weak. That goes for Team Rocket too. They act big and tough. You get alone and they're weak. I hate them all. Jesus, man, emo much? What a punk. How has this kid not been arrested, by the way? Oh, God, Mom, what are you calling for? I found a useful item shopping, so I bought it with your money. What the hell? F you. What are you doing spending my money? Oh, God. Ridiculous. That is unacceptable. Protector, stay out of mischief. Oh, yeah, this always reminds me of Celebi. Okay, so now we're in the Elix Forest. We'll go ahead and focus on that uh, down the road. We don't really need to do that right now. Let's go ahead and save the game. Cool, so we got ourselves the Hive Badge after getting everything done in Azalea. We beat our rival, no big deal, and we are moving on. Hopefully, we can run into some good wild Pokemon in here, but whatever we do end up coming across, you'll have to find out next time in the continuation of our Pokemon Crystal playthrough. Thank you so much for watching. I always appreciate it when you guys do that. I can't stress that enough. I will tell you at the end of every video how much I appreciate that. Be sure to like and comment down below if you have any feedback. Likes always help me out. Feedback always lets me know which direction to go forward. Or if you have any input or insight on something that we're doing, I always want to hear from you guys. I love engaging you in the comments. And of course, please subscribe. It helps the channel grow. And it helps motivate us to make some more great content for you. So anyway... Thank you, thank you, thank you. I will see you next time when we continue our playthrough of Pokemon Crystal. All right, later, guys.